Hi, I'm Emil, the practical engineer, and today I'm making this universal shop cart. Cool thing about this cart is that it's really easy to tweak the design to exactly fit your needs. So I made it so it fits my vacuum cleaner, my bandsaw, and even two drawers. Hang on to see how I make it. To keep it simple, I'm just going to screw the side panel to the bottom panel from the side. Before you do that, always make sure with plywood, if you're screwing into end grain, to pre-drill first, otherwise the wood will split. So, let's do that first. I find that if you countersink the holes first, you get a lot nicer result than when you drill the hole first and then countersink. So that's why I'm countersinking all the holes and then I drill the holes. To mount the sides to the bottom panel, I'm first putting it in place and holding it in place with two nails. At that point the thing doesn't move anymore and I can pre-drill all the holes and drive all the screws in. So this is the first side onto the bottom panel. Before I'm going to put the other side on, I'm first going to put the top panel and the shelf in so that way I can just put it on the bench like this and I have room to move it around. If I put the other side the bench is a little bit too small. So. To do this I'm following the same procedure just so I put some glue on it, hit it with two nails, pre-drill, screw it. I've drawn two small lines on the inside that I can use to align the board in this direction otherwise it's really hard to see if it's straight or not. You could also cut a piece of wood that you can put on the top and the bottom and use as a spacer. But for now this works fine. The bottom panel, the top panel and the shelf mounted all to one side and I left the space here for the back panel. We'll worry about that later. But now first, the other side. I made the middle shelf a little bit too wide. It's about one millimeter wider than these two. It wouldn't really be a problem, but it wouldn't look so pretty. So I'm gonna take a little bit off with the track saw. That's better. This is the absolute base of the bandsaw cart or the shop cart. I have the sides on, I have the bottom, the shelf and I have the top. I am going to put another plate here to make it even stronger that rests on the sides. But I'll do that later. First thing I need to do is to cut the back panel and put it in. Nice thing with this is it's already square if these cuts are all square. But if it's a little bit off you can fix it with the back panel. Just make it to size and force it in basically. So let's get a back panel for this and put it in. I had to force this in a little bit because it was not exactly square but now it is and 
I'm gonna screw it in place with a couple of screws over here and over there and then a few screws from the side that way it will be rock solid and strong enough The base of the shop cart is done. Next step, put the top on. The top I want a strong connection so I'm gonna glue it on and then also use some screws to fix it in place. Next step is to mount the wheels on this card and I'm going to use the wheels from the old card. So this might be a nice moment to take that apart. I'm not going to use the cyclone with the bucket anymore. It works nice, it works really well actually if you put a ring in here. But it just takes up too much space in the shop. I rather use vacuum bags and then um, use the space for something else. So, let's go. I've taken the old card out and I have all the wheels from it. So I can drill some holes in here and then mount the wheels on this thing. More than strong enough. <laughs> Let's put the bench on here and then I'm gonna show you what other things I'm gonna do with this. When you make a card like this you can create it exactly how you want it. If you use this idea as the base then you can add more shelves or no shelves or you can add two doors maybe some other storage stuff for the small boxes like I have. The there are a lot of possibilities. I'm gonna use it with my vacuum on the bottom and my bandsaw on the top. And yeah, that way I have these two together and it saves me a lot of space. In here I'm gonna make two drawers and I'm also gonna add a thing here where I can hang the hose on when I'm not using it. Since it's just shop furniture, I want to keep it as basic and functional as possible. So for the drawers, I'm gonna make some really simple drawer boxes that are easy to make. These are the sides for the drawers and on these ones I'm gonna make a groove in here with the router where I will later add the bottom panel for the drawer. That way I can just nail it in, glue it in and it's super strong. To keep these drawers nice and simple, I'm just gonna glue and nail them together. And I'm gonna mount these side panels to the front panel first, so then I can measure the inside and know exactly what the bottom panel side needs to be. I miscalculated the width of the drawers and I made them a little bit too wide so I cut this one down a bit, took a bit from both sides to make up for the difference. Now I have one wider and one a little bit smaller one. Now I have this I can glue and nail the bottom panel in and this is also the moment where you check if they're square. Right now if they're a little bit off you can still tweak it and then with the bottom panel you fix it in place.
So next time it's probably a good idea to do the hinges in a different order because this time this thing is going down all the time and it's hitting your fingers and you cannot see what you're doing so if you do these first on the card you can see what you're doing and then you can mount these and you can still see what you're doing so wrong order this time If you want to make similar cards like this for your workshop, check out the build plans that I have available on my website. I will link them below and in the link over there. Or you can become a patron, the link is over there. And then you will get the build plans for free every time when I make some set of build plans. So go check it out. Don't forget, dare to experiment and have fun creating. See you in the next video. Hi, I'm Emil, the Practical Engineer, and today I'm 